What's up, Leo? Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your tarot reading for the month of July of 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is so wonderful to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, gang? So check it out, Leo. General reading for the month of July 2021. Yeah, please keep in mind that this is general. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We could be talking to a cross watcher here. Uh, that's watching for a Leo. Keep that in mind. The roles can be reversed. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that just at li in limited quantities this month. So check out the information in the description box below. Also, I highly recommend that you check us out over on Divine Con uh, oh, I'm sorry, over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. Lots of great stuff there that you can get in on. Uh, but also, if you just want to support the channel, that is greatly appreciated, yeah? So please make sure to like, like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I love hearing from you guys. Your comments are very, very welcome here. This is called Divine Conversations for a reason, so let's talk about it, yeah? Speaking of talking about it, Leo, let's get into this because, man, I tell you what, I do not like this energy for you. And this is already feeling like a love reading. Okay. Now, this is a general reading. We could be talking about anything here. Nothing is off limits. So whatever is meant to come forward for you at any given moment during these sessions, that's what we're going to talk about. It seems that, Leo, either you are dealing with a Leo that is represented by this King of Wands here at the bottom of the deck, or you are a Leo that's dealing with someone that is super self-centered and selfish. Let's talk about it. You have the Six of Cups in reverse, the Devil, and the Five of Swords. I feel like there is somebody in your life, Leo, that is only after their own personal gain. And, and they are being manipulative to the point where either they are trying to keep you connected to them through some sort of soulmate connection. Uh, okay confirmation right there because what I was literally just about to say is I feel like somebody is trying to use the concept of a soulmate connection to keep you bound and chained to, to them at the bottom of the deck you do have the king of wands underneath the king of wands is the six of wands um and often the Six of Wands is a good card, right? The Six of Wands can represent victory. It can represent personal victory. I'm sorry, sidebar, you probably hear some droning in the back in the background. I have my fan on because it's fucking hot today. Okay, so anyway, uh, the Six of Wands typically is a good card to have. It can represent personal victory. It can represent getting a lot of attention, personal recognition for your achievements and all that stuff. It also can be an energy in which you want to stay, keep out for because... You know, there could be certain jealous people around you that might want to knock you off your high horse. Okay, that's fine. But the Six of Wands can also be, be a negative energy in terms of keeping up with, keeping up appearance or making it seem like everything is okay or everything is great on the surface. When, when you get underneath the surface, it's nothing but a pile of shit. Okay. Unfortunately... One of the very strong things that I'm feeling here is that somebody here is cross-watching for a Leo that is extremely self-centered and is more focused on how they are seen in the world and how people perceive them rather than living authentically, truthfully. Okay. You have the King of Wands and underneath the King of Wands is the Six of Wands. I mean, I'm not even going to try and sugarcoat, you for, sugarcoat this for you, Leo. It feels like somebody is trying to keep up appearance here. You're being asked to meditate on that. Underneath the Six of Wands is the Four of Swords. And it feels like either this has happened or this is coming, but like as the more and more you meditate or you, you clear your mind and try and see what's truly going on here, like beneath the surface, it's going to freak you out because you're going to start to realize the Nine of Swords that this situation is not in any way reciprocal and actually somebody here is just all smoke and mirrors. You have the Nine of Wands to the Six of Pentacles to the Seven of Cups. And at that point, you're going to have to make a decision. Two of Wands. 
a decision that's based on truth. But eventually, at some point, Leo or Crosswatcher, I feel like you're going to receive the truth. You're, this is what's going to help you make a decision moving forward is you're going to finally get it. The light bulb's going to go off. The lightning is going to strike or you're going to receive some sort of information that shows you just how deceptive this situation is and how you really just need to put some boundaries in place to preserve and then put some boundaries in place. And then I feel like somebody's going to ask you, well, do you want to continue with this? And you're probably going to be like, mm, no. Three of Wands to the Four of Cups, where then that's when the transformation is going to happen. And either someone new is going to come into your life, all sweet, loving, and, 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 and nice, or this person is going to switch it up on you and get all, and, and just like, just like lay on the saccharin sticky ass sweet ass like give you instant cavities and instant diabetes the knight of cups they're gonna come in here love bombing you trying to make it seem like everything is the same everything's okay maybe even everything is better than it was before and you're gonna be like nope queen of swords i've had enough yeah i'm gonna stop there um now, there's one last thing that I want to talk about in your pre-shuffle here, Leo, before we move forward, is that while I was pulling your pre-shuffle, I had my eyes closed, and I was just letting the cards do whatever they do whatever they were going to do. And I, at, towards the end of me pulling the pre-shuffle, I noticed, I felt that a card flipped over, but it stayed in the deck. And when that happened, I heard this real malicious voice in my head said, leave that there. I was like what leave that there and especially since when i once i looked at it and i was like picking up all the what was going on here and i even saw this devil here come out here i was like leave that there that sounds like the devil trying to influence me to not give you the message that needs to come out here and the message is that this shit needs to end it's the world so this could be uh the process of ending a very long drawn out and toxic cycle for you leo or cross watcher. We ain't gonna let the devil win this time. Nope. Not today, Satan! That's right. Oh, that's right. <laughs> All right, Leo. Let's reset. I'm gonna give this five shuffles for you, and then we're gonna get into the rest of your reading here, yeah? One. This is two. For my Leos. Oh, guys, also make sure, please make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising because that may give you a, a much stronger picture of what's going on here for you in this circumstance. Yeah, this is three. Oh, wait, was that two? Oh, no, I lost count. I think this is three. Okay. <laughs> four, we're going to call this four of three Leo. Yeah, for your month of July 2021. And this is five. All right, Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah, and watch your Venus sign too. If, you, if this is really resonating for you on a love situation, maybe watching your Venus sign will help. Yeah? Boop. All right, Leo. Overall energy for you. What do we have here? We have judgment. Yo. Shit's getting real, Leo. This is a wake-up call, honey. Underneath judgment is the Ace of Cups. Underneath the Ace of Cups is the Three of Wands. And underneath the Three of Wands is the Five of Pentacles. And you know what? This makes so much sense, Leo, because what I heard when I saw that Ace of Cups, I heard a question. And that question was, does he really love you? This masculine energy, whoever is represented by the King of Wands. Now, this could be a woman absolutely could be a woman that is approaching your relationship or just approach life, approaches life from a very masculine point of view. Unfortunately, it does feel like with the devil that came out here, they are approaching the situation from a toxic masculine point of view, toxic masculinity. And the question here is, does he or she, I mean, I literally did he hear he, I mean, it was the queen, king of wands that came out, but like gender is not a thing here on my channel, okay? So on this channel. Uh, so the question is, does he or she really love you? I have another question for you. 
Can you love yourself enough, Ace of Cups, to honestly and truthfully answer that question? Because you're being, you're being asked, you're being guided to wake up, in a, in a sense, here. Wake up to where it is you are actually heading in this circumstance. And I really feel like, Leo, you need to love yourself enough. You need to work on loving that sense of self-awareness, yes. Lack of codependency, yes. And self-love to adjust your path if necessary. Because right now, it feels like you are approaching this situation or you are involved with this individual because, from a, because of a sense of lack mentality, not feeling good enough. And that's exactly how a narcissist gets its claws in you and holds on for dear life. Because they recognize that you don't have the wherewithal to stand up against their shit. So they'll come in here and they'll love bomb you. They'll be all sticky, sweet, saccharine, like out the wazoo. And they'll get you. They'll get you hooked. And then they'll flip it on you because of this. Five of Pentacles. Because you don't feel worthy. Because you feel like you're less than. You're not good enough. You're not pretty enough. You're not intelligent enough. You're not funny enough. You're not buff enough. You're not, you're, you're, you're not social. Not, <laughs> it's all a bunch of shit. Whatever it is you find that you are not, maybe you're not supposed to be that. And that's where the Ace of Cups comes in. Love yourself for who you are. When you love yourself for who you are, ain't nobody about to come up in here and tell you who to be and who not to be. Yeah? All right, Leo. Let's get into the rest of the reading here. First half and second half of your reading. Yes, first half is going to be looking at the past up until the current moment. Again, this doesn't have to necessarily be just in July of 2021. You could find this months to a year later and this will still resonate for you. So take it as the current moment whenever you find yourself watching this reading and resonating with it, okay? The second half of your reading is going to go from this current moment off into the future. Yeah? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies for you, Leo. In the first half of your reading, we have you holding on. The Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is coupled with, okay, the Ten of Pentacles. Now, for some of you, if you are the Leo here who is, uh, who is um, dealing with someone that's fairly narcissistic, okay, um, even if you're not, I mean, for, for Leos, this is going to be a stronger point because Leos tend to be extremely loyal, okay? Uh, you don't have to be a Leo to resonate with this. Again, we could still be speaking to the cross watcher here. But what I'm feeling is that your sense of loyalty and maybe even the fact that maybe it's just the fact that you've been doing this for so long. You've invested so much time and energy and, and commitment to it that you don't want to let go. That's hindering you. I had a phrase coming to mind and now I, it's not coming back. So anyway, that's hindering you. You got to let go of this. It doesn't matter how long you've been involved with it. And I, I understand for some of you, that's a pride aspect. All right, I get that. But if something isn't serving you, if something is hurting you, why do you want to continue? Yeah, why would you? You've got to love yourself enough to let, let this go if it's not serving you, no matter how long you've been involved, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Leo. In the, ooh, ciao. Seven of Swords. This is all pretty self-explanatory, like, right away. And if you're really not that familiar with the Tarot and the meanings of the Tarot, the Seven of Swords is deception, lies, trickery, and deceit. Backstabbing, even. You see how this person is trying to sneak away with five swords on his back? Look at that look, at that look on his face. That's some sinister shit, isn't it? Quite self-explanatory. Seven of Swords is coupled with Good. The Nine of Swords. And the reason why I say this is good, Leo, is because it's, I feel like um, there is a level of recognizing the deception here. Which, I mean, no, the Nine of Swords is not a fun energy to deal with. I get that. But to me, that's kind of symbolizing the fact that on some level, you're aware of what's going on here. And maybe this element of the Nine of Swords, this... Um, Fears getting out of control, self-fulfilling prophecies, that kind of thing. But like your fears overwhelming you, maybe that's coming from a sense of not necessarily knowing what to do or how to get out of this situation. 
completely understandable, okay? But again, the good thing, the good thing that I feel about this Leo or Crosswatcher is the fact that you're aware of it in, on some level or you're starting to become aware of it or you have been becoming aware of it because we're looking at the past up until the current moment. So that to me is a good sign because if, unless you weren't aware of it, then you couldn't make a change, right? Okay. You just got to get past the fear, okay? The self deprecation involved with it yeah definitely get past that honey because that ain't even worth it okay your challenge leo in the first half of your reading oh, wow leo three of swords dealing with the heartbreak for some of you i am feeling like uh coming to terms with it actually being able to acknowledge it some of this nine of swords energy could be a sense of denial and it's that sense of denial and maybe you've been denying it for a long time. And now over time, it's been getting more and more and more momentum to where now you can't, like, you're struggling to continue denying this. It's keeping you up at night. You got to face this, this pain, this deal with this pain, Leo. Okay. Three of Swords is coupled with the Knight of Pentacles. And you know what's so funny about that, Leo, is before I pulled this next card to couple the Three of Swords... I was going to say, ain't nothing to it, Leo, but to do it. Like, sure, it's one thing to recognize there's pain that's going on here. It's another thing to allow yourself to sit in it and feel it. Some of you have been avoiding this because it's a big thing. It's like almost like a monster that you feel like you cannot overcome. But you can. It's just going to take time and consistency. Because for some of you, this is a cycle. This is a big, big cycle that you've just been going through over and over again. Not necessarily with the same person, but similar individuals. And that's kind of how the universe works in this way. Like it's going to bring you the same lessons, either with the same people or different people, until you learn what you need to learn and end the cycle for yourself. But that takes time. That takes consistency. That takes commitment to facing this pain, feeling this pain, and then healing it. And the only way that you can heal something is if, it, the only way that you can heal a painful situation, Leo, is to feel it. And that doesn't necessarily make, mean make sense of it. That doesn't necessarily mean uh, boiling it down or picking it apart and coming to some sort of logical conclusion. Because emotions aren't always, lo are, are not logical. Emotions do not flow or do not exist in the realm of logic, okay? So it doesn't mean that you have to necessarily completely make sense of it. Oh, shit. At its core, Leo, all you really got to do is, like, experience the feeling. Be like, yeah, this does not feel good. I don't like this. And throw it away. And throw away with it all of the circumstances, the situations, the people that come with that type of feeling. That's literally baseline all you got to do. But in order to do that, you got to allow yourself to feel it first. And, and take it slowly, step by step, Okay. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck, Leo, all right? And he's not willing to move on to the next step or the next phase in the process until the one he's working on that he has in front of him is done correctly and completely. Because he ain't trying to double back and try and do something, have to do something again. Oh, hell no. Nah. Ain't doing it, right? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Leo, in the first half of your reading. The Nine of Wands. Yep. Perseverance is key. Now, I'm not trying to tell you to persevere with this situation because ultimately one day it's going to get better. No, fuck that. Hail to the motherfucking not, okay? I am not telling you that. What I am saying is you can get through this. You will survive, Leo. It might be a struggle, but you will survive, okay? You got this. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, baby. Nine of Wands is coupled with the Knight of Swords. You better fight back. You better fight back with all your worth. Because you are worth so much more than this, Leo. You deserve so much more than this. Leo or Crosswatcher. Y'all understand. You deserve so much more. You deserve to be fought for. Y'all are going to make me cry. You deserve to be fought for, not fought against. You are going to make me cry. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Let's move forward, Leo. Getting into the second half of your reading. Yes? 
first set of surrounding energies. Now remember, we're looking from the current moment off into the future, yeah? First set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, you do have the Seven of Cups. So there's that element of smoke and mirrors, but I kind of feel like this is you kind of stepping up to the smoke and the mirrors and be like, all right, what the, what, what's, what's going on here? What is this? What, what is this? Huh? What is all this shit? Why can't you tell me the truth? Why can't you just be upfront? What is all this? Hmm? Yeah? Seven of Cups is, is coupled with, woo, the Knight of Wands. There you go. The Knight of Wands is that fire. Somebody coming up in there with that torch that burns away all that smoke. So you get down to the clear truth. And I do feel like with this Knight of Wands here, something may have happened or maybe something's going to happen that is going to leave you emboldened like nobody's business, okay? Just be careful, right? Because you also have the Knight of Swords here in your closing message potential outcome for the first half of your reading, okay? This right here, <laughs> this com combination between the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands is a fucking explosion sometimes. Why? Because oxygen fuels fire. Right? So just be careful. Just be careful. I'm not telling you, especially if we're talking to a Leo here, I am not telling you to let go of or, or to water down any of your passion. I would never tell you that. Never. Your passion, your fire is one of your strongest attributes and you deserve to let that flow. Just be careful, because not only will fire burn somebody else, it will burn you too. Just, I'm just saying, babe, okay? I don't want, I don't, I don't really want to see anybody get hurt here. And, but then, of course, I just heard casualties of war. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, fine. Your, the, the, the uh, second, um... Second set, excuse me, of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading, Leo. The Ten of Cups. Big happy family is what I just heard. Are you sure this is a big happy family, Leo? I'm not, I'm not so sure. The Ten of Cups can be a really beautiful energy, right? It represents the ultimate family life. It represents an ultimate wish fulfillment or, or emotional fulfillment and all that stuff. But the Ten of Cups does come with a collective mindset with it and sometimes that's not the most healthy and for some of you i do feel like there is a family aspect here and you're just staying together for the kids y'all know that song y'all remember that song by blink 182 so here's your holiday hope you enjoy it this time you gave it all away it was mine. I'm gonna stop singing because I'm probably gonna get demonetized, but. So when you're dead and gone. <laughs> Sorry, I, that was one of my favorite songs when I was growing up as a kid, it was kind of relevant. But anyway, I feel like there is, uh, there is an emotional wish fulfillment involved with this, but I feel like you're gonna have to remove yourself from whatever collective or group is involved here and define that or figure that out for yourself, okay? Ten of Cups is coupled with, aha, the Six of Wands. Leo, this could be read, I'm sure it could be read infinite amount of ways, but in this situation, it could be read one of two ways. Either one, you are moving towards, off into the future, you're moving towards a victory in terms of what is truly emotionally fulfilling for you, okay? I like that one. Let's focus on getting there because the other side of this that I'm seeing is keeping up appearances for the sake of the community or the family. Define that however, take that as it resonates for yourself. Uh, it's, I'm not trying to speak for you here. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know your dynamics. I don't know your family. I'm not trying to be a home wrecker here. Y'all know, like, come on, don't even go there, okay? I just heard, do what's best for you. And that's what you're being guided to do. This is in your overall energy, Leo. Uh, judgment with the Ace of Cups. Do what's best for you. And if we are talking about a family here that, that involves, like, children or dependents, how do you expect to really be there for your dependents if you're not even there for yourself? first, right? 
How can you expect to provide a happy, a healthy, safe, and loving environment if you are absolutely miserable because the environment is not what it seems? The environment is actually toxic. I just, okay. Your challenge in the second half of your reading, Leo, you have the Eight of Swords. Breaking yourself free. Breaking yourself free. Recognizing the binds and the chains that you have around you. Recognizing how you are confined from allowing, your sense, the sense, allowing yourself the sense of freedom to speak up for what truly matters to you, what truly resonates with you, what you truly want, what it is you truly need, how it is you truly feel about a situation, what it is you really truly think about a situation. Eight of Swords is coupled with The Queen of Swords. Yes! Okay, I know now. Okay, well, chill out, Eric. All right, my own personal Leo energy is coming out there. But your challenge is breaking yourself free from this. Recognizing the chains that bind you, recognizing the, the mindset, the mental prison you may be under, even the physical prison that you may feel like you're in, and breaking out of it. Cutting yourself free with the Queen of Swords, because the Queen of Swords don't play, y'all. All right? She don't play. Talk about vicious. Ain't nobody vicious. Now, first of all, ain't nobody, ain't no being out there in the world that is more vicious than a feminine energy. Why? Because naturally, we'll say in the wild, it's the feminine, it's the mother that has to protect the children. Because if she doesn't, the species will die out. So yeah, sure, masculines, male masculine energies are vicious, but they are nowhere near as vicious as a feminine energy. Those are my babies. I will die before I let you have my babies, right? So use this to your advantage, Leo, or Crosswatcher, and break yourself out of this because you deserve it. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Leo, in the second half of your reading. Ooh, the Ace of Pentacles. You've got two aces here, babe. Ace of Cups, which is your sense of self-worth and loving yourself enough Divine compassion, divine unconditional love flowing down for you and then you expressing that for yourself, which then leads you to a brand new start, a brand new opportunity. There is your release from this situation. Maybe even potentially a brand new partnership, but I really don't even want to go there right now because you've got enough on your plate dealing with this rather than thinking about Ooh, who's coming next. Nope, nope, we ain't going there, <laughs> okay? Ace of Pentacles is coupled with the eight of wands leo jailbreak straight up jailbreak you went from in your challenge the eight of swords with the queen of swords that queen of swords energy helped you to break free and there you go you went from confinement to freedom and a brand new start a brand new day a brand new opportunity and i love it for you yes hunty okay <laughs> let me stop being extra and you know what <laughs> extra i will never stop being extra says the leo okay <laughs> let's get into this i actually i'm gonna get you some closing oracle guidance but i want to get it from the love your inner goddess oracle yeah let's do that okay cute so i'm gonna give this five shuffles for you leo and we will see what comes out for you yeah one Ooh, try that again one This is two. This is three. For my Leo's closing horrible guidance for Leo, please, spirit. This is four. And this is five. All right, Leo. Let's get into this, yeah? Closing Oracle Guidance for my Leos out there to close out this reading. Card number 14. Bright Destiny. And the caption on the card says, Just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, it became a butterfly. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, let's see. What do I want to read here? All right, I'm going to read the first two sections, which are inner reading and then the spiritual guidance, because it seems quite relevant. So here we go. In a reading, this card says, it's okay to feel unclear or even confused about what is happening in your life or within you at this time. It's like that because you are growing, going through soul growth. Things will become clear in time. For now, however, let the process happen. Fear can make us try to force something that isn't quite ready yet. Don't try to impose a meaning Take action or understand it all prematurely. Don't think too hard. That's what I was saying when it comes to, like, in terms of feeling through the emotions, stop thinking so hard about it. Boil it down to the basics. Do you feel good about it? Yes? Excellent. Let's keep doing it. Do you not feel good about it? Do you still feel good about it? No. No, I definitely do not feel good about this. Okay. Then put it to, to the side. Get out of that. Throw it away. Throw it in the trash. Cancel, clear, delete. Yeah? Don't think too hard. When it comes time... When it is time for you to act, you'll know it. It's okay to relax and trust that the moment of clarity will come when the time is right. The spiritual guidance of this card says, to become truly yourself, shining your divine beauty and light, you will go through a process of releasing what is no longer right and true for you. Like the caterpillar who sheds the chrysalis when it is time to emerge as the butterfly, you will let go of the person you once thought you needed to be. This can feel freeing and exciting. It can also seem frightening. You may feel crazy sometimes, trying to hold on to a past that is no longer available to you and grasping for a future that is still yet to be. Sometimes it can feel like a dark night of the soul, filled with questioning and confusion. Others may not understand what is happening and you may feel as though you can't really explain it either. In such times, we have to trust that all the changes and uncertainty are part of a process of growth, letting go in order to open up to something amazing and new. This is happening for you now. You don't have to be afraid. You are going through this because you are ready for it, even if you think you're not. There is a loving reason for all of it, even if you cannot see that right now. Put your faith in the mystery. Trust that the answers will come, and so will the joy of all that you have grown into. Stay true to your path and know that you have been that you have a bright destiny ahead. Okay, Leo, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really truly hope this was helpful for you. I love you guys so, so, so very much. Yes, please. Uh, go ahead. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love hearing from you guys. And let's definitely talk about this situation down in the comments if you feel open to do so. Also, if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that again on a limited basis this month. Check all the information in the description box below. That includes that and the link to our Patreon account, patreon.com slash divine conversations. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!